we'll start with the dollar index as usual. So um, previous market review, I talked about this candle here, taking at the, this high, closing within the range, and then stops will be resting there and there. We've just taken the stops out. Um, the dollar was a very clear pair this week for me. I didn't really take advantage of this much. Um, but now it's showing more clarity after what it did. So what I'll be looking for is further downside now. So I've been saying this target for a while now, 91.90. And I think we'd, we're going to go for that next. That's going to be the next target there, which is not very far away. Um, we've got this level here as well. So if I go to the weekly, which comes in line with this high here. So if I just mark out this high, this will be further downside, 89.67, uh, 89.70. So what's the high here? Let me check. This high here is um, 66. Now we are going to enter the last week of the month. So um, usually, I mean, they call it, you get pullbacks if it's been a one-sided month. But if if it gives us um, a setup, then I'll take it. So the question is, how deep can it retrace? So certain times when I've spoken about it before where there's clear clear levels where you know it's, it can retrace to um, I spoke about this if you guys remember this candle here I said if we get a break of this previous market review and I look for a retest into it okay so I'll be looking for that scenario a retest into that uh, I look for my bearish price action and then continue lower okay that is all that's clear to me at the moment if that doesn't unfold then I'll use my other strategy which is using the weekly open okay so imagine it opened here let price go above that form some sort of price action once it breaks in use that as resistance then and whatever level uh, clean level we have here or support and resistance we have here then I'll short into that which means long euro is that clear so that's what I'm looking for going forward I still see further downside on the dollar we were clear with the dollar. Okay, now let's move on to cable. Um, I'll do euro first, okay, and then I'll do cable because probably cable is probably the one I'm really interested in. So euro, I didn't really have a clear uh, view on this, and Friday had I, I, it was looking more bullish to me, but I'm not gonna be trading when it was those um, central bankers talking at the Jackson Hole, whatever it was. So this was the monthly open here and it kept finding resistance there and it kept pushing up on this so it's just like a coil getting ready to springboard up. Now that that's happened, now it's clearer to me and what's it called, um, I'll, I'll be looking for the longs now. Okay, so question is how do I get long? Well, we've got a few levels now. First of all, I'm going to mark out where I think it's going to go and I talked about the 121 level. 121, reason why? is if you look on my twitter i posted a six month chart let me just get that up so i can show it here um euro usd i'm sending the six month chart so this is where i've been getting my macro bias from and it's just giving me a clearer picture of where this wants to go so if we look here the euro was down here the last time i spoke about it here and I said well, the 1.1615 was, uh, was the next level and then the 1.17 so we've taken all that out so the next six month candle is here okay six month uh, half year chart is here and it's a quarterly one as well so that would be the next stops when we take that then 127.50 will be the next target so looking at this chart right would you be bearish euro yes short term we get pullbacks intraday scalps pull, that's different but we're talking about overall overall macro bias this is as it's looking it looks like it's bottoming out and it wants to push up so the higher probability trades path of least resistance would be to the higher so that's why i got 121 as my next level okay so let me just get rid of that so get, getting back on board um i do find it's a bit tricky i mean so if i go to the weekly right we've got this candle here this was a down candle push up this is like a breakout candle so we've got a level here, resistance level here, because that uh, was a sec. From there, price sold off 240 points. Okay, so that is a key level here. 
I'll mark out this first, right? So the high here is 1.1838. I would like it to retrace back up there. So at the same time, if I'm looking for a long on euro, I'll be see watching what uh, the dollar index is doing at the same time, and I'll be marking out that scenario. So sometimes if uh, e euro does not get to the level I wanted to, but it's come to another level, but we've got the dollar index coming into the resistance level, that I may that may be my trigger as well. So that's one level we've got here. Ideally, I would like that because this was like the consolidation below this level, below the monthly open with all the accumulation, then they bust out of it. Um, getting back on board right now i'm going to be using the same strategy the weekly open strategy that i've explained before it's the only way i love this level marked out ideally if i can get a move into here or possibly these levels here these highs here then i look for a long so we've got that level there and we've got this here okay these highs here so whichever gives me a bullish bullish price action that i want then i will look to get long um I also have got my eye on this here All right so these down candles that did move up cause the stop rate so I'm, I'm gonna mark it out from here All right just to get bare minimum um, if I just drag this along so I've got a zone marked out I'll be looking for bullish price action in here if you can come into here I look for bullish price action price action okay if it's still if it's really strong and just wants to sh carry on shooting up then use the weekly open strategy okay that will be the way i play this what I, the pair I really like is cable the cable um when it was around down here i spoke about that monthly high got taken and it was look, the body was looking quite heavy so i thought this would be the next le le set of stops so the lows are 128 11 for call it 128 10 it took that further weakness i was looking for 127.60 it did not get there that's fine that's not a problem so if we look at the weekly look what the weekly is done down candle here previously and we went all the way down got loads of shorts in this market i was one looking for shorts but then i bailed on it afterwards because it wasn't giving me a price action then it closed back up within that to me is like a nice bullish signal so where the stops gonna be resting above this weekly high here so now that dollar is starting to move down again what would you expect the cable to move up and all the other majors as well but i'm just expecting cable to move back up now i think it's done its retracement if we look right just on a weekly basis low and then a high higher low higher high higher low higher high and this could be the higher low so if this got broken this low here then i'd probably say okay maybe look for shorts i'm going all the way down again but so far it's still holding that higher uh, low and higher high basic basic principle if i draw a line here right this was a key level here low support resistance broke back through a bit but come back above and now it's acting as a support level so this is a critical critical level and it's a weekly block obviously there's a key level we break that down further it took up these stops here okay these stops here got taken And that could have been enough for it to continue higher now okay so we've taken these stops out and now i'll be looking for bullish price action how do i get on board okay so we have this level of accumulation here so i would like price to dip back into this gray box here we've got if you if you'd mark this out we've got this support 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 resistance which lines up with here so if price can come into here give me um that bullish price action Ideally, I do not want it to go below the 128.12. So I like the around here 128.40. I like that level for a buy. And if it gives me the bullish price, price action I want, I'll be looking to buy this and then start targeting stops at each high. So we've got stops resting here. We've got a resistance down here. And then we've got these stops here. I personally like these stops here, short term. So from here to there, is about 180 ticks that can easily be done this is cable we're talking about. i can do that in a day or two days so this could be this this down move could be the where they were buying and this could be the bottom of a buy model so you know accumulation distribution accumulation then here pop up now bottomed out now look for high prices we've also got all these inefficiencies to fill in so i believe 
and this is going to be my ultimate target here so from here to there swing projection about 430 pips that's my swing target um here obviously higher obviously afterwards but i'm marking out short-term targets so i'm looking for something like this and then short term these targets and these targets then longer term these targets okay that's my cable bias and cable is probably i i prefer cable than i do euro at this moment in time and i'll explain why so we've got that's that there so everybody everybody clear with the cable okay i'll try to explain it as clear as i can what i'm looking for the main thing is where i think i'm going to get in um for the, so another strategy is um many ways i played this so aggressive if i was aggressive i'd wait for price to come here then look for the bullishness or if i was more conservative weekly open make the down move let it bottom out show me it's bottomed out and then once it gets back above the weekly open i'll know the weekly low is in and then start going for longs those are two ways you that can also be used as an uh, compounding opportunity where i take a small long here and then once it gets back above the weekly open depending on what price action it gives me uh, look for more longs um above the weekly open and ride this up that's cable for me uh now i'm gonna go to euro gbp let me bring up the um yearly chart for this now it's frozen is everyone clear with cable by the way before i continue okay euro gbp now if you remember i was calling lungs from down here I said this is going to be taken, and loads of people kept uh, calling a uh, bottom, uh, a top, a top, a top. But every everybody that's been trying to short this has just been raped. But if you look at the six month chart or a yearly chart, look how clear it is. You know where price wants to go. Why would you fight this? I don't get it. Okay, so now that we've taken this, these are big stops here. So if I go to a 12 month chart, um, and it's frozen. Okay, that was last year's high we've taken. Now, there's two things I'm looking at. So if I'm expecting bullish cable, right, that does not mean Euro can't continue going up because I believe Euro is going to still continue pushing up. But can cable take the lead now? Can cable strength kick in? Because looking at my Euro GBP at the moment, Euro obviously is the favorable long. But we've taken out these stops now. Now, could we have some profit taking here and let Euro GBP pause? Or retrace a bit and that would mean cable takes the lead in strength and cable would go higher uh, we'll have to wait and see but the way cable is looking I do think it's gonna come in and rip it doesn't mean euro can't rip they both can rip together but, so ideally I'd like this to consolidate and then um, yeah and let what's it called um, cable rip so next it just stops I'm gonna be resting here longer term so that high is uh, uh, 96.50, 96.49. So that's another 400 odd pips. So that would be next upside. But ideally, if you could retrace a bit, that would be right better. That's Euro GBP done. So in a nutshell, that's what that's. I'm only looking at this for um, um, cable purposes. So yeah, this was the targets I was look, talking about when we were done here. We've taken that out now. Go to the monthly. Yep, these are the next targets here on the upside. That's Euro GBP. And I don't really trade this, but I look at it for um, cable and euro purposes, which one I would want to take. Aussie dollar, um, I think this is bullish as well. So if we're expecting lower dollar, then obviously all the other majors are going to be um, going up. So we've got this here, these down candles here. It's come down, and we took these stops out. Okay. The break of this and the break of this proved to me that's a breaking market structure. So now I will be looking for longs. So all the majors I'm looking for longs now against the dollar. Not all of them are going to have the same strength, but you want to pick the ones by looking at the crosses to see which one is more ideal to take. So as you if you can retrace into here, I'll start hunting longs. Hopefully, oh fuck, what's this? I believe stops are going to be resting here, and my macro view has not changed on this. These are just, I see all these all these down moves in the majors are just pullbacks, and I'll be looking for something like that. So yeah. So this daily block was the one I spoke about previously. Here, yeah. I said if you find support here, then I'll look to get long. If it breaks this, then this was the next target. It's showing at the moment that it does not want to go lower, and this is enough for it to hold and now the path of res resistance tells me it's gonna go higher okay so this would be my next target going on to the weekly and 
this would be the target after that. So swing projection uh, would be this. So from here to there, that's about 228 points. Nice swing trade. Looking at the weekly, we've got a nice low, lower low, higher low week. That's a nice swing low in place, okay? So I'll be looking for this to push up. That's my Aussie dollar. Kiwi dollar, same thing. But I prefer the Aussie compared to the Kiwi. I think, I think Kiwi is going to be the least, uh, the weakest out of all the the mages that are going up. Um, and I'll give my reasons why. So, Kiwi, I mean, yeah. I do think it'll probably push up with the dollar weakness, but it'll be the least likely to. Well, least strongest. Because I'm not taking out these stops, it's holding above there. Similar scenario to all the other mages, it's pushing up. Now, I'll tell you why I prefer Aussie than the Kiwi. I've been talking about the Aussie New Zealand lungs for a while now. Um, I'm not going to go over it in detail because I've done a video on this Aussie New Zealand lung, but monthly, right? And we got low, then a lower low, and then higher low, and then a higher low. Low, lower low, higher low. Okay? So, low, uh, high, high. Higher low, so I'm expecting this is and that just in a nutshell. That's why I was expecting higher odds in New Zealand. We still have not hit that target yet. We could still have a massive move up. This could be a nice long term bottom in. I don't know yet. I'm just taking one target at a time. But do you remember when I was calling a long here? That was the reason why. Um, so the 1.1020, it's 1.1018 really, but let's call it 1.1820. That's the next target. So that would mean Aussie is going to be stronger than Kiwi. So I did a live video explaining, um, I did actually a series of tweets actually in four steps explaining why I took this Aussie New Zealand long. So if you look back on my Twitter, you'll see it. So I'm not going to go into that into detail. Basically, I'm looking for this target next, which would mean Aussie, if I was going to trade Aussie and Kiwi only, Aussie dollar would be the one I'd pick. Um, yeah, so that's Aussie New Zealand done. Um, what's next? Dollar cat, which I haven't done in ages. Um, I believe this is going lower. So if you mark out a support and resistance line, support. If you got the daily, see this here. That's the support level here. We bounced off the center of ticks. The body is here. Resistance. Then we broke out of it, up above of it. Now we're back below it. So this is gonna go lower, I believe. Next target is here. So from there to there, about 56 ticks. Macro view, I believe we're going to take out this low here. Uh, I think the monthly chart it was clear a picture. Yep, yeah. I believe we are going to take out this. If we take out this, I believe this is going to be the next target low here. And this level here. So from there to there, it's about 574 ticks here. I believe we're going to come down uh, and do that. But short term, I'm happy to just take it one level at a time. So on the weekly, this will be the next objective, this low here. Okay? And then we'll just take it. Dalakad hasn't been my favorite pair to trade, but I'm just going over it because someone asked for it. That's Dalakad, weaker basically. So, yeah, that's that. Um, gold, I believe the lungs are... Uh, now we're going to continue up now. So we'll go over to the daily. Well, monthly. You can see, look at this, look at this monthly candle. Low. Lower low, high low, nice swing low. I believe we're gonna aim for these again. Twelve seventy nine, no thirteen seventy nine. Sorry, 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 sorry. Thirteen seventies. I believe we're gonna get. Um, this was critical. This candle is now we're starting to break above this candle here. As I said previously, if we get above this monthly candle here, we're gonna go higher. And I think we're not gonna stop there. I think we're gonna go much higher. But what I will do is, well, hang on, I'll, I'll get to that later. There's something I wanted to say. So weekly yep this candle here after this engulf big bullish candle we came down tagged this order block here and we made a higher low on the weekly which is nice what we want to see so i'm expecting higher prices going on to the daily obviously basic 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 the same block here took out these tops up on the way so look for bullish on here so all the majors are showing what are they showing they're showing weaker dollar and stronger you know across the board so gold I'm expecting high prices. Um, I believe we're gonna get after this high here, 1320 is gonna be next target. So I've got 1320 marked out. And that is based on Fib projections. Fibonacci. That's a random 1320. Um, I think it's based on here to there. I can't remember where I drew it on. Hang on, let me let me, let me find out where I drew it. 
that high to that low. Yeah, thirteen twenty, and then the thirteen fifty, and then thirteen seventies there. So one level at a time. That's what I do. I just trade, get in, get out at the next level. If that level breaks, get in another retest. That's all I've been doing lately. Um, so basically, bullish bias on that. How to get on board? Um, well, it's a bit tricky at the moment. So I'll be using the weekly open strategy, and this gold is nice. So when I took the long down here, all this price action had unfolded, right? And then this was the weekly open. When it got by the weekly open, I will, when it was just below it, that's when I got long. So I waited all week, and then that one trade paid off, and I got out 1300 to the pip as a nice move. So I'm happy to let that unfold again, give me the same scenario, and then I'll get back in and take it long. Is that clear? Everyone clear with that? Okay. That's dollar done. Silver, same thing. I'm thinking uh, higher prices. Um, monthly. Look at the monthly. Suggesting this would be the next high to take out. Which comes in at. Um, high is 17733. So 1770s would be the next target on that. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. Um, that's most of it. Oh, yeah. So. I posted a Euro Aussie chart, I'm not going to go over it again, but yeah, Euro Aussie chart, I was talking about low, 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 higher, low, um, basically all the Euro crosses are suggesting higher prices, right, so that would mean to me that Euro is, at the moment, is better to take the Euro than Aussie and Euro than New Zealand dollar, so Euro will be stronger than Aussie and Kiwi, the way it's looking, so Euro Aussie is pointing up, so I believe we're going to come, these highs next, which comes in at, 150.739 then these highs here and then each high at a time so I'm expecting big much much higher prices um, big big candles to unfold but when I if I take these I'll be posting it on Twitter okay so we are, I, I, I normally post it on um, uh, in these videos right I normally have my bias and I explain analyze the markets and I go over okay this is where I think it's gonna go this is where I wanna get in and sometimes I don't have a clear entry so if you follow me on Twitter I'll post charts on where okay now that after price unfolds I'll post the charts and say okay now I'm interested in because it's giving me the price action I want and it's showing me it's bottomed out or it's ready to go or set up for me then I'll take it okay so this is that's the reason why I post them on Twitter when things aren't clear for me oil I think we still uh, oil has been a bit of a whippy motherfucker I still believe we're going higher in oil uh, what would break my bias if we, if, if we broke this low here which we haven't but notice I'm on the monthly low lower low higher low and we're about to produce another monthly kind of with a higher low so I don't believe this is over yet um, going on to the weekly now I mean all this tells me now is it's been a retracement into this so if as long as this holds short term shit, as long as this hole holds always getting my interest again because Dalek is looking to me wants to go lower the commodity pairs are looking like it wants to go higher so I'm thinking oil is ready to go next leg higher now um, because we did have a big one way move up from here when I called it now it's just a retracement on the daily it doesn't mean we're bearish yet bearish for me would be a break of this if we break this then I think okay now we're going lower it has not broken that yet so I mean the way it's looking to me we're going to push higher and I think we're going to go back above I think we're going to take out this high here uh, this level here and then obviously these levels here so I'll wait for this and I think if I'm correct and the macro view is bullish then the flow the institutional flow is going to be with um, the direction in that direction so price will move there quicker it's not going to get this low it'll get there quick okay just like here you can tell the strong buys here okay so I'm expecting a quick move up here I'm seeing sentiment on Twitter and across so these websites that a lot of people are getting bearish oil. I will be bearish oil if it gets below here. Until then, I'm bullish oil. And the way it's looking to me, I think all these shorts are going to get wiped out in one go. And it's going to be a really, really quick move. I don't think there's going to be any fucking, fucking about. Made a low there. Lower low. High low. See the same principles I'm using again and again. On a higher time frame, low, lower low, higher low. That's what I keep mentioning. And it's that all that, all. I use is that, I use basic support, yes I use order blocks and stuff like that but um, my main basic is you draw out that support and resistance first and then see what price is doing at that level okay um, so at the moment I'm bullish this, I'll give you an example right, I'll give you an example, 
how many people notice this support level I drew here? Um, and then let me get a new cable chart, right? And be honest, be honest with yourselves. You don't have to say it, but just think about it. How many actually noticed when I drew um, this level here on the cable? How many actually have your monthly or weekly levels marked out? For example, this level here, the significance of this level. You don't have to say it, but just keep in mind your high time frame levels. I don't remove them, and sometimes our charts get cluttered with too many levels, and we forget what's high time frame. Just have them in a different color or label them like this like you know if you, if you use mt4 you can say weekly open i mean weekly uh level i mean you hover over it you'll have this weekly level but you know this is a key level here so even if you don't use order blocks whatever the way i'm explaining is i'm just giving you my my bias why i expect it to go there where i think it's gonna go and why and then whatever strategy you use, whether that's moving averages, some each of your market cloud or indicators, whatever. Um, hopefully this helps you, you know, adds confluence to your own strategy, whatever you use. And it, it all is based on key support and resistance only. So that's about it for now. I mean, is there any other pairs that you want to go through that I've missed out? Well, Euro New Zealand's another pair. That I think that's going to go a lot higher. So Euro New Zealand is going to, I think, believe is going to push higher than Euro Aussie which is another confluence that Aussie is stronger than Kiwi oh yeah I forgot about Dalian yeah. of all the pairs you know what I'll do the reason I forgot about Dalian because that is being a m bitch that has been um, okay break down on the monthly okay we, it looks like it's gonna go down obviously so I'm still expecting uh, the levels I'm expecting I'm gonna work backwards now I'm gonna work backwards my back working backwards I think it's gonna go there um, 107.50 and then the 107 level yeah. there 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 short term okay and obviously we've got all these levels here as well now getting on board this has not been clear to me I mean look at look at the daily chart right all week this has been a mess look out look at the mess it's been in I'm gonna box this out now All right so the way I will approach this because all the if you look at like a euro yen and an Aussie yen and pound yen they're all pushing up now so is Dali yen one I really want to go for mm, to me no because if all the other yen pairs are pushing up now I don't really want to go for Dali yen do I so when the yen pairs are pointing down then you know this is why I haven't gone through dollar yen today. It's in a range, and even with dollar going down, they can still hold the dollar. Uh, if the dollar index is going down, they can still hold the dollar yen. So this is why I've left it. I think it wants to go lower, but as it stands, it's not clear. So I'm not going to go over something that's not clear. If it clears up, I'll do a video during the week, and I'll explain. Okay, now dollar yen has caught my interest, but there's no point in me going over something that's not clear to me right now. Okay, so let's just leave dollar yen for now. It's just in a range. When it breaks out of this, either up or down. Then I'll say, okay, uh, there's gold on EJ. Yeah, I mean, usually when dollar yen's going down, gold goes up. Doesn't necessarily have to always work, but usually, yeah, it is the case. So that's about it for now. Um, oh, yeah, pound yen, I spoke about this. Uh, if you remember, I had a chart up with pound yen, and I said, I drew a box and go below this. It was here at the time. Below this, we look for shorts. It did not give no short setup, but bust above it, and then a retest back into it, and it looks like to me it's going to push up. That was nice. I'm not interested in taking pound yen. There's other pairs out there that's clearer. But I just did this for study purposes anyway. Um, so, uh, these are the pairs I've gone through so far. But things can always change. So, as the price, as the week starts and price unfolds, we'll update it. We'll do more videos during the week, okay? So, I'm just going to stop the recording here and then we can take questions. Let me just stop this recording. Um, stop.